Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I would like to show you something about our new rule engine. Um, again, we are using the AirNode workspace. We have lots of devices in here and all of these devices are measuring the temperature and I'm now going to show you how you can create one rule for all of these devices um, for a temperature alert. So first of all, let's go ahead into the new rules engine. You can still see it here marked as beta. Um, we have the critical temperature warning from last time, but now I'm going to create a new rule. First thing I'll do is give it a name, temperature warning. Time zone is fine. And then I need to choose the product. So as mentioned before, there are 100 and about over 100 devices and they're all added to the Blue's Wireless product in here. And we are executing the rule on product level. What we could do here is we could filter or group um, those hundreds of devices by tax. But in here, in this demonstration, I'm creating the rule for all devices. And then we can create triggers. There's time-based, which is a different thing, and new measurement. And right now I want to create a rule for all of these devices that's been uh, executed or evaluated upon new measurements coming from any of those devices. Then we need to define conditions. So simply click on add condition. This will bring up a new sidebar and um, we leave out the description and then we can search for the measurement field. So let's take the temperature because I want to create an alert for critical temperatures. The time range, um, we could have the current value but also like the average, the minimum, maximum, absolute change and relative change in percentage. I leave it to current or let's do an average uh, operation from one hour ago up until now. And then we need to define the operation, which is uh, what we, yeah, the condition more or less, the condition operation. And I want to know if the average from one hour ago up until now is greater than compared to constant number value of 30. So that means if any of those hundreds of devices in that product is the average from one hour till now is above greater than 30 degrees, please send an alert. Add condition and then configure action. And then we are going to send an email. Um, next, I'm going to give this my name in here. Um, I leave the subject as it is and also um, the message body, but I'm going to add the triggering name and on the triggering name, triggering device, we have the temperature, current value, and this will send out an email when one of those devices is above uh, 30 degrees. We press add new action. Um, you can see that this action has been added here. I was leaving out the description, so this auto generated description for me. I'm going to save the rule and we're all set. But there is one issue. So, and I'm going to show you how uh, we can and what this issue is about. So let's go into the temperature warning once more. And as you've seen, I've created a warning for all of these hundreds of devices if one of those devices is above 30 degrees. So this assumes that the threshold or the compare value we want to compare the temperature against, the warning level, is the same for all of the devices in the product, which is 30 degrees in here. And probably you have a couple of devices which you want um, to set on 35 degrees or 20 degrees and some on 10 degrees, but the majority left to 30. And this does not mean that you need to create over and over new rules because we have a function for that. But first of all, I'm going to, I'm going out of the rule editor and to show you um, this functionality, I'm going back into the device list open one of those devices. It doesn't matter because they all belong to the same product. So I can open any one of those, go into configuration, and then we are scrolling down a little bit until we reach um, to our fields section. And below the fields section, there is configuration fields. And for this new functionality, I'm going to create a new configuration field, which is a number. And I call this temperature maximum threshold and 
Um, this automatically creates an identifier. This is very similar to our database fields. However, this is not historical. It's like an environment variable. And I also provide a unit, Celsius, and a default value. And we are now going to set this default value to 30. So if I add this configuration field, I could optionally also provide a description. But if I add this configuration field now, this configuration field is added to all devices. So it's belonging to the product. So it's valid for all devices. And it has a default value of 30. This means that this value is now um, yeah, available on all of these devices. And then first of all, let's go back to the rules and edit our temperature warning rule in here. And the condition, we're going to edit this as well. And instead of providing here compared to a constant number value, what we are now going to do is say we are going to compare it uh, against a configuration field from the triggering device. And in here, I now can see my temperature maximum threshold configuration field I just created. And now the rule is dynamic. And because we set um, a default on product level, first of all, all devices have 30 degrees set. We update the condition. Everything else will be updated here as well. It also updates the description. We press on save. And now this rule is um, working on product level and on the configuration field level. And now if I go back into the devices, I can pick a few devices, like let's say this one here, go into the configuration, um, scroll down until we reach to the configuration field section. And as we can see here again, um, this device still works on the default level of 30 degrees. But what I can do now is go into set value and overwrite the default, the product default of 30 degrees to 25 degrees. Set value. And now this value, you can see there's no X behind it. This um, configuration field, especially for that device, has an overridden device level value of 25. I could go into another device, pick this one here. Sorry for being so fast, but that's just, I want to skip it. And then configuration field, and as you can see here, there are 30 degrees, and I could set this one here to 35. So that means that I've now created one rule for all of these hundreds of devices. They all work on this default 30 degrees, and I created two, um, or I adjusted the um, threshold temperature on two of these devices. We can do this over and over again, pick a different device, go into configuration and set this configuration as well here to 18 degrees. This is how you can use the new rule engine for hundreds of devices, um, provide a default value using configuration fields, which is um, has a default across all devices from the product and then overwrite on uh, device um, level if you want to provide custom thresholds, for example. Let's go back into the rules once more into the critical, uh, into the temperature warning. And all you need to do is provide a condition. And on that condition, you select compared to configuration field from tr triggering device, select the temperature maximum thresholds or the configuration field we've just created and add it to the rule. That's it. That's how you can use the new rule engine uh, across many devices, have just one rule for hundreds of devices, but still be able to um, provide individual thresholds. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.